declarations of interest on this specific agenda item on Travel Line today. Please do declare so. If not, we can move on. Uh, and if you do need a sheet, please do ask for it. Uh, item number three is obviously the minutes of the last meeting. Have we all had an uh, opportunity to read through them, having received the papers some time ago? Uh, and are there any issues of rising from once we've actually declared them as true and accurate record? And I will then sign them on your behalf. I'd be happy to agree that they are true and accurate record. Yeah? Okay. I'll sign your behalf. Thank you. And are there any issues arising from those minutes that are not on today's agenda? Thank you. 
12 starts to tease out some of the details and the lessons learned from this review. So some of the details on why it stopped in quarter two. The average operator time, so that's the time spent by the operator on the phone, has increased by 10% over that period. As you've included it by taking payments over the phone, it's usually that you recall is lengthy and for that reason the time goes on the phone for slightly longer and that's impacted on the service provision. Uh, some usually sees a lot of visitors to the region and for that reason a lot of the inquiries are national and are also about our major events. So for example the Giants at the end of July saw a call volume of over 5,000 calls in five days. When you compare that with an average call volume of just over 2,000 per week, you can see the significant expected results of the increase occurred. Overall in quarter two, we had a 12.5% increase on quarter one, which gives you a flavour of that evidence around what I've just said to the committee. And also just related to, to, to Nancy's attention to not all missed calls are the result of poor performance. So they're quite drastic between 25% of calls and missed. When we have special events like the Giants and any kind of travel line, we have a range of pre recorded messages with our customers where they can signpost at the bulk of places that we can get that information, most noticeably our websites that are doing the pitch instead of being delayed on the phone, they can actually get that information from the website and again attach the report to some example scripts for the Giants weekend where we actually signpost the people to the major tunnels website, to the major travel websites, all the relevant information about what's happening that weekend. And again, some customers will see that their calls have been answered, they'll put the phone down, and while that registered display the performance, in reality they're still able to access the information that they need. So some of the lessons learned as ever, lessons can be learned from any failed performance. And what we've already done as officers is in the next capital programme for course subject to approval, we've looked for a, a contribution to the review travel line and overall and develop further technology within the team to automate some of the more routine services. So for example, automated budget technology for switchboard inquiries, look at any type of account payment card option within that within that review too. The automated option service to ensure those who receive generic pre-recorded messages are not registered as failed calls, but we can actually record those for an added benefit just to say yes, 20% put the phone down but actually got the information that they need. So we look to enhance that in any review moving forward. And additional use of our resource, what we've done over the last six to eight months in, in our travel centres is we've incorporated um, a fault line dedicated to support the travel line. And what we can do at Busy and Peak Period is supplement it from our outlying districts, which is like a group of St. Helens, and brings that into their centres and actually take calls at very peak demand, which will help us improve performance moving forward. In addition to that, Travel Line is just one of the options or one of the available options for our members of our public and where they can get travel information and this year seems to be the best enhancements around things like the Journey, journey Planner app and the, the Journey Planner website where we sign up for our customers for self-help options where they rather than to rely on, on the telephone call into the organisation. The best will in the world for busy events, we could have as much resource as we could possibly have but it's very difficult to hit all of the money at peak times and that's something the organisation needs to make sure that it, it, it enhances things like the journey plans and we have for our customers who can access that information when they are busy. Um, what we've also done from producing this report, we report retrospectively on our performance but what we can say at, at this point the performance in quarter three, the real live data we've reviewed indicates that we're satisfied quarter two was a win. In quarter three we've seen significant improvement levels towards the high 18 nearly 90% and that's been satisfied with some of the one off. Okay, I'm happy to take any questions and comments on that. Thank you very much for that uh, comprehensive uh, review of your report, Gary. That's very helpful. Uh, questions for colleagues? Thank you, Chair. Every single complaint. But what we do do as a team on a regular basis is see the 
from points each on the switch board that better reflects the volume of calls we get from fast type and clients. Okay, and when you see fast type, you see such a small number, 300, that's actually the tunnel switch board. And the tunnel switch board, just for reference to what that was originally, it used to be where people would go 236 and get directly to the control room, the engineering control room, and made the tunnels. It was historic, it wasn't the best service for our customers, albeit it was available. It wasn't the best service, so customers couldn't, for example, top up fast type. By the use of that number, it was traditionally something that had been made historically, and there was cost to prove to maintain that bottom line. So we've now transferred that into the team. The lower volume of calls, there's probably no more than 100 a month, and that volume of calls we felt we could absorb into travel line without any further difficulties to get the customers to take it. Thank you very much for that. Okay, and now we're getting into sort of the minutiae of detail, guys.